Pierre, thanks for sitting down with me today. No, I thanks thanks to you. Thank you. Mm. Pierre, of all the countries that Syngenta operates in, in the world, yes. China is obviously unique. And you're responsible for all business development within China. Can you tell us a little bit about well, it? Well, yeah, I, I'm, I'm actually uh, responsible for uh, China commercial operations. Uh, so I'm so-called territory head for, for, for China. And uh, you're absolutely right. China is absolutely unique and, and, uh, and unique in, in many ways. Um, now, if we just focus on, on the business side and our business agriculture, uh, I would say that China is, um, well, as you know, the fastest growing economy in the world. But China this is a huge surface dedicated to agriculture, 120 million hectares. Um, this is twice the size of, of Brazil, of Russia, so this is a, this is a huge uh, agricultural market. So for a company like us, entirely dedicated to, to agriculture, I mean, China is not only a big market, but that's a big growing market. And, um, and as you know, um, China, this is the largest population in the world, 1.4 billion people, nearly 1.4 billion. So, of course, the Chinese authorities are extremely keen to put agriculture on top of their priority to ensure self-sufficiency and making sure that uh, they will be in a position to, to feed these 1.4 billion, uh, billion people. Uh, so, for us, this is a very, very key, key market. Here, you, uh, before you came to Syngenta, you had 10 years experience in the agricultural sector. Um, you, you had responsibilities in multiple different categories, in R&D, in marketing, multiple countries. How has that impacted and created the Pierre I have sitting with me today? And, well, and what impact does it have on you personally? Well, the impact, I guess, is I'm 14 years older than, than I was <laughs> <laughs> you know, in, in 2000. So 2000, that's, that's the year where Syngenta was uh, created from uh, merging Novartis and, 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 and Zeneca. But listen, I, I didn't go directly from, from France, where I was based, to, to, to China. I've had, in between, I've had uh, two very important stops. I, I, I did uh, three, point, three and a half years in, in Hungary and uh, nearly five years in, uh, in, in Russia, where I was uh, leading the Syngenta crop protection, crop protection business. Okay. Look, um, discovering a new country, new people, new cultures, new languages. I mean, this is this is outstanding. I just I just love it. Um, I believe this has been opening my my mind, hopefully. Um, and and China. I mean, the, the entire world is looking after China. So having the possibility to work and live in this country today, to live in China, to work in China. I mean that's 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 a privilege. That's uh, you know I uh, at the beginning I couldn't believe it, but yeah I am and I'm very happy to to be here. That's, um, what are some of the challenges that you face in in moving from Europe over to China and and maybe some of the successes you've had as well? Well, the challenges uh, there are always challenges, and but but, but China is uh, look the first thing as I was telling you. China is looking for self-sufficiency and, and, and agriculture is at the very top of the government priorities. I can tell you as an European, working in a country where uh, agriculture is a top priority, you feel, you feel great and uh, you know, there are not that many countries where agriculture is, uh, is that important. Working with the Chinese authority is very straightforward. Um, they, want, they want a win-win situation. Uh, basically, they have a huge market, uh, and in the meantime, they are interested in some of our technologies, some of our abilities to, to build capabilities. So they, they, they want to, to arrange a win-win situation. Let's, you can transfer technologies and know-how to, to us, and then you will access uh, our market. So it's, it's pretty straightforward, it, it's pretty clear. Um, of course, China has some challenges, like, like uh, everywhere else. Um, let's say that the, a big part of the market is in the hands of very small generic companies, um, thousands of them. 
counterfeit is not just for luxury goods. You know, you do have a lot of counterfeited seeds, a lot of counterfeited crop protection products, but this is, um, this is improving. This is improving quite quickly, simply because I mean, China is becoming, you know, the, the first economy in the world uh, very clearly understand that uh, environment protection and intellectual property protection is, is a must and, and so things are things are moving very fast like most things in in, in this country and I'm, I'm very confident for for the future speaking of that it can't be in china without asking you about agrisher viptera viptera yes it, an important trait for syngenta an important trait for agriculture and I think everyone knows that it's a, a, a non-approved trait here in China. Can you tell us a little bit about the trait? Yes, the yes, that you've done yes. Here in China to, to, and is there a solution on the horizon? There are always solutions. That's you know that 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 should be. We we all need to believe in that. Uh, well, Agrisho viptera. This is what this is a corn trait. Um, protecting corn against uh, diabrotica, the corn rootworm, but also against uh, all, all the above ground uh, pests, especially Lepidoptera. So Agrisha viptera was um, registered in the US in 2010 by, by the EPA. At the minute where it was registered, we did uh, submit an import approval uh, in, in, in China. Four years have passed, and uh, although this trait has been now authorized for import in all key countries in, in the world, in, including Japan and, 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 and the EU, by the way, this is still pending in, um, in, in China. Um, so, you know, what we, of course, we, we, are, we have done everything we had to do. Uh, we have always responded in a very timely manner to the, to the authorities' uh, uh, request. Uh, and, you know, I, I firmly believe that uh, this will get solved uh, as soon as possible. And we are quite hopeful that the, the minister will, uh, will, sign, will sign this, uh, this approval. But, but, but listen, I mean, this is... This is going far behind uh, the, the Syngenta, uh, Syngenta issue. Yeah, you know, I, this is really an industry, an industry issue, uh, involving seed companies, involving grain traders, involving uh, growers and regulatory authorities. The, the problem is, is, is the following. If you cannot submit an import approval in China until the trade is registered in, in the country of origin, and if it takes two years to the Chinese authorities to, to grant this approval, by definition, uh, you will automatically have two seasons during which uh, your trade will not be uh, registered for importation in, in, in China. So the, the alignment of, of the regulatory authority system is, is a must, and, and that's what we need to, to work for, uh, and, and all of us, not, not just Syngenta. So, once, I guess, side note question, I, I keep being told since I've been over here that this is really more of an economics question in, in China. Is, is there an element to it, or, or is, it, uh, is it more of a science question? Mm -hmm. Well, uh, I think the science question, frankly speaking, has been has been solved. Uh, so, you know, now you know. I mean, the government uh, have very busy agenda on economy, politics. Uh, I, I don't know. Uh, you know, it's impossible to know. All I want to say is that we are confident uh, in the authorities of these countries for, 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 so, for sorting that out, and, and the sooner the better, frankly speaking. So, what do you see as the future for GM crops in China? Well, there are already uh, GM crops in China. I don't know whether you know, but it, I mean, Chinese cotton is GM. Uh, Chinese papaya is, uh, is GM. Look, uh, as I said earlier, the Chinese authorities are extremely pragmatic, um, but they also are extremely sensitive to the, to the public opinion mood, like it's the case in, 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 in most countries. So on one side, they realize that GM crops are a very efficient tool, uh, among others, to, to, to increase crop productivity. Uh, and they need that for ensuring self-efficiency for this, for this country. On the other side, they realize that the public opinion deserve uh, explanations, education, which, which takes time. So uh, I'm 
absolutely confident that we will see more GM crop in, in, in China, uh, probably towards the end of, uh, of the decade, um, probably as well rather on, on, on non-food crop, uh, typically, typically corn. So that's, that's what I would expect. Yes. Yeah. Mm. I had the opportunity to sit down with uh, Devor Pisk in, uh, in Basel yes. uh, a few mm. months back and <clears throat> he talked about the uh, good growth plan yes. of Syngenta mm. with some very specific commitments to the industry, some very specific commitments to society. Can you talk a little bit about how does China fit into that plan? Well, of course, we uh, we are fully Syngenta. China is fully part of this uh, of this uh, good growth plan. I mean, the idea is, you know, we realize that when you ask people how are we going to feed the world in, in 2050 with two more billion people on, on, on this planet, everybody agrees to say, well, we'll need more farmland, we need more water, we need more of everything, we need more labor. Well, it's not possible. And all of them, almost all of them, or vast majority of them are saying, well, that's done to the government to sort this out. Uh, well, we don't believe, oh, well, we believe at least certainly the government, but we believe the private sectors and companies such as we are needs to get involved. Uh, and the way we want to get involved is that we are, we are committed uh, to six commitment, and you know, between us, commitment is a very strong word. I mean, this is we are talking of engagement, engagement of our reputation, engagement of our image, um, and by 2020, what we want to do is to really increase crop productivity. We're talking of of 20% uh, worldwide. We're talking of of enhancing uh, biodiversity talking of, of, of getting back the millions of hectares of, 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 uh, of land which are, you know, becoming not used for, usable for, for agriculture. Uh, and this is also a question of, you know, enhancing the, the empowering uh, smallholders uh, and then keeping people on farm safe and, and least but not last, I mean, taking care of all, all the people within our, our supply chain, with, whether it's chemicals or, or, or seeds, uh, seeds production. Um, so for China, we, we you know, fully uh, fully part of this, of course, and, and but we mainly will focus on, on three of these commitments. The, the first one is this crop productivity enhancement. So that's, that's a very key point. Once again, self-sufficiency is one of the key key goal for, for, for China. Then empowering smallholders. I told you China 120 million hectares, but that's also 200 million farmers, 200 million farms and probably 600 million farmers. So, you know, you have a large, large number of, of small holders in this country, empowering them, making sure that they can produce more is, is very important. And last but not least, uh, taking care of people on farm, making sure they receive the right training uh, to use our product, our technology in the best, in, in the safest, safest way. So these three, three commitments, more specifically for, for, for China, but let me tell you, uh, as, as an individual, uh, or even as, as a citizen, even more than a Syngenta employee, I, I feel really proud to be, to be part of this initiative. And I think that that's a way uh, to, to, to sort out uh, the future difficulties we'll face by 2050 is nothing is, nothing is done. That's, uh, and that's an important, an important target. It's a very important target. and. Mm. I, uh, Kudos to Syngenta for stepping forward to, to lay that in the sand. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much for your time, Pierre. I appreciate it. Thank you, it a Sean. Lot. Thank you.